So which router should you have in your home? A wireless router? A mesh Wi-Fi system? Or maybe a WAP? Wireless access point. Hmm. What's going on guys? Welcome back. I'm Mike. This is the Ultimate Tech Hub. Thank you for joining me. I really appreciate it. You guys are awesome. I got an email this morning. One of my viewers had a question. We just moved into our new home and I was wondering which would be best. A wireless router, a mesh Wi-Fi system, or a wireless access point? So today, we're going to answer that question. So today, we're going to talk about three different wireless systems. A wireless router, a mesh Wi-Fi system, and lastly, a WAP, a wireless access point. Get your mind out of the gutter. And my goal today is to give you enough information so that you pick the right system for your home. Okay, let's go ahead and start with a wireless router, a good old fashioned wireless router. And we're talking about a router in the $80 to $100 range. Nothing fancy, not a gaming router, just a basic $80 to $100 router. The best case scenario or the best use for this router is in an apartment, a condominium, or a small home. Maybe two or three bedrooms, and no more than 1,500 square feet. And what's great about a wireless router, hook it up to a modem, put it on a desk or a shelf, and you're good to go. And most wireless routers are very easy to set up, from the SSID to the passwords and nearly all wireless routers have their settings already set for optimal security. But you always have the availability to go back in and change those settings. But once again, a wireless router is great for an apartment, a condo, or a small home, three bedrooms, 1,500 square feet, perfect. All right, next, a mesh Wi-Fi system. Now, what's great about mesh Wi-Fi systems is the versatility. Depending on which model you buy, some mesh Wi-Fi systems have a router and one satellite, but some have a router and two satellites. And some have a router and three satellites. And some brands allow you to add more satellites as you need them. So our recommendation for a mesh Wi-Fi system is a large home. And I'm talking five or six bedrooms, like a large one story or a two story. And what's great about mesh Wi-Fi systems is the satellites are not permanent, they're temporary. You can move them around as you need to. So for instance, set the router up where the modem is, then set up your one or two satellites in different areas. And over the next day or two, see how things are working. Check for signal coverages and for dead zones. And if you find a dead zone, simply move one satellite to a different room. All you need is a power outlet. It's that easy. And what's great about these satellites, because they are movable, if you have a party like a pool party, you can put a satellite out on your back patio. Easy. Everybody has access. So like I said before, mesh Wi-Fi systems are excellent. And for instance, this Orbi mesh Wi-Fi system from Netgear, six rooms. That's a lot of coverage. And you can see there's a router and one satellite, and it covers a huge area. And the last thing I'm gonna talk about is a WAP, a wireless access point. Get your mind out of the gutter. One thing to note about wireless access points, these are permanent solutions. When you install a wireless access point into your ceiling or wall, this is permanent. It's not going anywhere. And unlike a mesh Wi-Fi system, a wireless access point is very secure. You can't just unplug it and just take it, especially if it's in the ceiling. And most wireless access points are secure with a lock, so it's not gonna go anywhere. And like I said before, these are permanent solutions, so there is a bit of a learning curve when installing these. You'll need to be handy with tools, like a ladder, a drill, and going in your attic and crawling around. And to make these look really good, you're gonna have to drop wires through the ceiling or through the wall. You could just run an ugly wire down the wall and hook it up, but that looks like crap. <laughs> and same with the ceiling mount. If you're gonna install a wireless access point, just run the wire from the ceiling through the attic. Bam, done. And one thing you should understand about wireless access points, many access points are powered by PoE, power over ethernet. So in most cases, you're gonna to have to have a layer three switch with power over ethernet. So just a heads up, if you're thinking about installing a WAP. Like I said before, these are permanent solutions. And WAPs are great for small business because you install it in the ceiling, set it and forget it. So when should you install a WAP in your home? Well, that's a great question. Installing a WAP in a two-story home is very difficult, especially in the ceiling on the first level, because there's no crawl space to run the wires. My recommendation is to install a wireless access point in a large one-story home in the center of the home in the ceiling. And to do this correctly, you need access to your attic. And luckily, I have a video right here showing you how to do this. If I had to choose, I would choose a wireless access point over a mesh Wi-Fi system, but I had the knowledge and the skills to install one. If you're a novice, then just get a mesh Wi-Fi system and you're good to go. And like I said, a mesh Wi-Fi system is temporary because you can move the satellites around as you need. And most of these satellites have a LAN connection on the back of them for wired connections, which is great. 
And once again, guys, I'll go over this real quickly. A wireless router for an apartment, a condo, or a small home, no more than 1,500 square feet. Once you get above 1,500 square feet, a wireless mesh system would be perfect. If you have a very large one-story home, a wireless access point would be great as well. Just remember, these are permanent solutions. And guys, if you made it this far, I wanna thank you so much. You guys are awesome. And guys, if you found this video helpful, make sure to give a thumbs up and share it. And if you loved it, hit subscribe. It's free. And I'll see you in the next video real soon. Peace.